Hello YouTubers. This is uh, this is good be sort of into information video. But last couple of days I've been tidying up after a storm of uh, storm Irwin. Cut a few logs. But unfortunately my dire chainsaw died yesterday and it's been running well for a couple of days. Same fuel. Uh, but yesterday it just come to a uh, started up and it just wouldn't run keep running so i spoke to a good friend of mine this morning and that you'll probably all know when you want to check out the site and that's rob small engine repairs and he give us some advice so i've been on with it this morning i've been busy with it and i have got it sort of running but for some reason it's still got you can't get the correct tick over and the rev for some reason so i have took it apart as you can see so and what i found is now i don't know if you can see if i put you close enough but inside the little filter wire mesh gauze whatever you call it it's full of snot <laughs> snot now and also it's rust all the way around here yeah, little bit dots of rust so I think there's been water in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a new gasket set for it and uh, see what we can do with that. But I took the gasket off before and it's uh, <coughs> Now this is the one that goes to, wait a minute now, let's see if I can move yet without dropping yet. Yeah. Now this is the gasket that fits on under here. Now it's absolutely solid. I don't want to play around with it too much so I am going to order a new gasket set what I'll do when with when I've got you on what I'll do for you is I will I think I've got the camera around the wrong way but hey ho it's only a video um, I got was just drying out yeah I've had the electric heater on and it says well it's it is drying out we've had a couple of good days but as I'm speaking it is starting the rain so if I can, gently. That was kind of gently, yeah? Well, I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's not too bad, but uh, I don't want that. 
No, I don't want to rip it off until I get a new one. Yeah. There's bits sticking off this diaphragm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it there until I get a new video, uh, to, until I get a new gasket kit. Take a couple of days, do you reckon, huh? Yeah. And I'll come back and I may do a video of us rebuilding it. Like I say, Just in there, snotty, snotty what? I think I've got some of them. But I'll, I'll leave it and I'll come back. I'll get a new kit or that and I'll come back to you. So I've got the carburetor off now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to prep it. Everything until my carburetor bar parts come. And all I'm going to do is just give it a clean off. Okay, what I've done is I've given it a good clean out. I'm just wondering if I've got petal pipe that size. I might have a look to see if I have. Like I said, I may as well give it a good repair it now and then later. Now that's all brown and rusty. Look then. Poo poo. So I'm gonna have a look, see if I've got any power up here. So anyway, battle pipes perished. So it's gonna be a new power pipe. That's it. Yep. Uh -huh. See what? Ooh like Rusty Wooster would say. Ooh I'm gonna put that under there. Mr. Hull, so it has to come off. Something's not right. right. Let's 
Pump through it. Oh, what a mess in there. I still can't see anything. <laughs> huh. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put you pack up right in the wood. I've had to strip it all down. And uh, this, under here, off camera, along here, was solid with oil sawdust so I'm going to give it a clean off camera uh, there's nothing I can really do now until the parts come so see you in the next one so here we go again new petal pipe in there is the hole with a horn that and you have to take this bottom bit off makes it a lot easier and use something blunt and help just to put it through I just used pardon me for some mid tea I've just had, I've just used a small allen key help just to push it through got it through got the pliers on I also put a a, a pointy piece on the end of the pipe but uh, I'll get you put up on this stand and I'll come back to you. So we've got a new filter. And it's, it's approximately what I need. A bit extra, I can cut that off at the top. You know something when you've got bad eyes and I'm still wearing glasses and I still struggle to put these on. So, filter on. Yeah, that's what I used. And I just put put the pipe over put the pipe over a little bit and then just give it a force down. And what I've done is I've checked that and there's no holes in it. I haven't put a hole in, so They go into there like that, them little black. Let 
these weren't to them. Yeah. Nice and tight. Clean off. What I need to do is start cleaning up behind us. <laughs> You don't really need to see me cleaning this. Just so anyway, guys, I'm uh, I'm sort of getting up further. Um, after I was on ninety five uh, subscribers, which I was really yeah uh, pleased about, you know, and and. I went on to AJP Garden Machines live stream Sunday afternoon and uh, I got to 100 and I dropped down to 99. But I'm back to 100. So people must have something, said something when I do a video. What? <laughs> but no, there's some really good YouTubers out here for this sort of information. Uh, for myself, I'm just there. Uh, You're not a novice at all this, I'm no not qualified, anything like that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it makes these different. You don't really want to see me cleaning this. So we're busy rebuilding this carburetor back onto the Let's go on if I want four one. <clears throat> I've had to go online. Uh, because most videos I've watched for running the petal pipe, some of them comes up this side. Some of them do return, comes up from the bottom, up and then bend over and put it onto there. But after looking at this, I have noticed that the there's supposed to be a little plastic flap just there and when you put that on the carb vetter uh, that should go now remember guys make sure that gasket is still on the little lugs don't get the petal pipe nipped So what I've had to do off camera is I've had to put it on because I was struggling. Uh, I'm hoping I've got it correct now. The reason is you've got your earth cable for your switch. Okay. Now. When I took it, when I took it off, I don't know if I've done this right. The uh, the earth cables was underneath, and the carburetor was like leaning over, but it's worked. It's 
fucking work. So understand what you, if you just get a socket on, just, you know, it's, yeah, just pinch them up. Need to get a Phillips screwdriver. Don't over tighten them, I don't think, because I think they're just plastic. Okay. That's the choke on. Off. What you do now is. through, come over, come over the top, and that's working, yeah, yeah, and then petal pipe, up, into there, Well, what I'm going to do is there's room in there, so I'm going to cut it just there. It. Put that over there now. Make sure that's inside. To there. To there. That's all that catch missing. cover goes over like so and you've got the two ten mil nuts to drop one I'll oh, see drop one struggle on Yeah, 10 mil for it. Yeah. 
Time metal spawner. Lip them up. This is the cover for the takeover, low and high. Most people fit it on at the start, at there, but that's it. Give the air cleaner just a quick scoot. Don't over tighten guys, you're only going to plastic, melt on melt plastic, that's all you're doing. So that's the case, and that's the carb that I put back in on the Husqvarna 141. What I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to put the bar, put everything back on, and then I'll come to you to do a fire up. to stop this job because it's had a slight oil leak for a little while and <clears throat> I've come which I thought has been coming up I don't know so it seemed out of here well I left it standing all night like that and I've just come back to it and there's nothing going out of it so I'm not sure if it is the pump I got the, the clutch off I used a hammer and a punch and just caught the edge so that belongs underneath but I just tapped these two here and uh, it come away. So <laughs> I'm going to see if it is this. I had a look online. I can't get a, an oiler. Ah, 
like that. That needs a good clean. So that's the type I need. I'm not sure on how these work. They must turn ah, they turn on the wheel and that primes the So why did the leak? I don't know. But anyway. Let's give it a clean air folks. What is the Just, just imagine John Clem going, Who oh, you Nev? Go and see, mate. Go and see. Put that down there. Right, I've never done one of these before. I don't really know how they work. But, cleaning out might have helped. So, what I'm going to do is. I've cleaned all that up now, it's underneath. I'm just going to have a look because that is running in the seam. Right, so that fits onto there. I'm going to order another one anyway. Go and get one. That's what I'll do. I'll order another one up if I can get it. I don't think I'll get it before Christmas now. And uh, you see that's there, same as well. It's all filled up with muck. So if that's not getting a good fitting around that, that will permanently leak. I think what's happening is going down there. Yeah. Hello again. Just trying to see what I'm doing. Right, I've got a new part, new pump. Yeah. Now for this part here, I see a lot of people don't put them in.
Je pa malo lik. Waiting for the bar oh, to come and have a table up yesterday on I don't know what you can see, but I'm trying to get the the spring out. But uh, yeah, but Oh, this. So look, old wood chippings and. Okay, so what, what's been going on is this. It's been going on a long time, it's, but it's got worse. And at first, I thought it was cracked in here. But what, what's been happening is, it's been seeping out of the rubber grommet here, underneath here, and it's been running, following the seam down. So it's been running along there. So we will. Just what I'll do is we'll put that up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I have seen people fitting these new, and they don't put new, put these in. There's a new pump. So you must have to put this on first. Uh, 
Look at that, that. Just check that make sure that's going to fit on there. Lovely doubly. Lovely doubly. Okay, sure, huh? So hopefully that will drop in there. Yep. Yeah. Everybody happy with that? Well I'm not. Nope. What's going to have to happen? Have a look at that. That's fair on beautiful. Okay, so that's the new pump and the pipe in. So, what I should have done was I should have ordered a new one of them, but This is spare. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's not bad. There's a little tap down the corner. Just bend it down. That's bad. Okay. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
we'll stand that up there. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, okay. Yeah, uh, got it all in there now. I've had it standing for at least 15 minutes and there's nothing leaking out of there. As which before, it was running all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop this clutch back on. That goes onto there. Clutch. Give it a bit more clean out, it's got a bit of oil in there. The oil leaks. Spocket's fine. This one's a bit clean off. Pull the bearings. Oh, yeah. By the minute, drop the bearing. I'm back. Okay, guys. As I said, the bearings. That drops into the shaft. Onto the shaft there. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to give them a quick clean. Back in a minute. Okay, just off camera there, what I did was, the bearings there back in, I put a mere smidgen of vocation just on the bearing, just to help it. And it was just a, I just dipped my finger in, it was wet with grease, and I've just put it on there. Just have a bit tidier up here. So when I did take this off, got a chisel, punch, punch them, the ear, the lugs. So all I'm going to do is, can you see? Go like that. That's it. Okay. So you've seen us do the pump, put it back together, some of it. What I'll do is I will do the rest off camera and then we'll come back to it when it's ready for the fire up. Okay. See you soon.